Welcome into our postgame coverage of the Palmetto Bowl 2023, won tonight by Clemson here at Williams Bryce Stadium by a final score of 16 to 7. And our report is brought to you by the South Carolina Beef Council. The 23 points total in tonight's game. That's the lowest scoring game in this series since the Tigers won 13 to 9 back in 2005. The Tigers continue to dominate the series. Though they lost last year, they've won eight of nine. And they've won five in a row right here at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia. 80,172 on hand, including former President Donald Trump, who arrived before kickoff, watched the first half, walked down on the field to wave to fans at halftime before the fans came on, and then he departed. So Clemson wins a low-scoring game in which they ran the ball effectively, didn't throw it at all, and played outstanding defense. It's their first win without an offensive touchdown since they beat Louisville back in 2014. Tigers got a gift from the Gamecocks on the second play of the game. Spencer Rattler threw a pass to Xavier Leggett. It was ruled a backwards pass. Leggett could not hold on to it, so the ball is loose. Khalil Barnes, the freshman safety, scooped it up, ran it in for a touchdown. That would be the only touchdown of the game for Clemson. The rest of the Tigers' points came from a guy who wasn't even on the team at the beginning of the season. Jonathan White's hit field goals of 50, 49, and 42 yards. That accounted for the rest of the Tigers' points. He had one field goal in each of the first three quarters. We had no scoring in the fourth quarter. The Gamecocks did recover from that 7-0 deficit. They put together an impressive drive, 12 plays. And they drove it down to the Clemson one-yard line on fourth and goal. They ran a little trickery, and Luke Doty ended up with the football on a reverse, and he scored from a yard out to tie the game at seven. But that would be all the scoring for the Gamecocks in this one. The Gamecocks finished with 169 yards. That's their fewest under uh, Shane Beamer. Uh, Clemson had 319 yards. But only 100 yards passing. Third time this year, the Tigers have had passing uh, of under 135 yards, but they've won all three of those games. The Gamecocks only had 112 yards passing. Obviously, a low figure for Rattler at uh, South Carolina. 57 yards rushing for the Gamecocks. Third down conversions were crucial in terms of Clemson keeping the football, especially In the second half, when they were trying to run out the clock and uh, eat up time, they were 7 of 16 on third downs. The Gamecocks only 2 of 13. USC averaged 3 yards per play. Clemson averaged 4.4 yards per play. The Gamecocks had 92 yards in the first quarter, so they had a decent start. But then, in the second quarter, they lost 6 yards. In the third quarter, they had only 8 yards. They had 75 yards in the fourth quarter. So much like their win over Kentucky, when they had good numbers in the first and fourth quarters, they had nothing in the middle part of the game. And after that touchdown that they scored, the Gamecocks finished with eight punts and loss of possession on downs on their final nine possessions. And on four occasions, they started at their 15-yard line or worse, so they had to deal with some poor field position as well. So, Klebnik was 15 of 27 for Clemson for 100 yards. No touchdowns, one interception. Great interception by Nick Emanwuri. Uh, Rattler was 16 of 32 for 112 yards, no touchdowns, and a pick. Uh, Anderson led the Gamecocks on the ground, 13 carries for 35 yards. Maffa and Shipley did their thing. Maffa, 19 carries, 89 yards. Shipley, 15 carries and 80 yards. And Klubnik added 11 carries, 52 yards. Xavier Leggett uh, had six uh, catches for 68 yards. Tyler Brown led Clemson with five catches for 40 yards. But the Tigers pretty much kept Leggett under wraps. They did not let him get down the field deep and make any big plays, any explosive plays against their defense. You just have to credit the Clemson defense tonight with being outstanding. Uh, Wes Goodwin had a terrific uh, game plan dialed up. Uh, They brought pressure after pressure, whether it was uh, rushing four or more against Rattler, who seldom had a chance to uh, hang in the pocket uh, and look downfield for his receivers. The the offensive line uh, 
reverted to a, a poor performance tonight. And this was against a Clemson team, according to Dabo Sweeney, that was dealing with a flu bug running through them throughout the week. So they were weekend uh, to some point from that, but they didn't really show it on the field, at least uh, defensively. So big win for Clemson in terms of keeping the momentum going for them. They have the November to remember. The Gamecocks had a good November, but they had a night to forget tonight. Uh, Clemson moves on with an 8-4 and four record, and they'll be waiting for their bowl assignment. And for the Gamecocks, they finish at 5-7. and seven. It's roll up the sleeve time and go to work for Shane Beamer. First of all, he's got to figure out who is staying and who is leaving. Uh, and then he's got to go recruit, and he's got to look at the portal and fill some critical positions on this team. He does believe he's got a really good team coming back next year. He really likes the returning players, and he really likes what he's done in recruiting. So he feels good from that standpoint. So, again, the Tigers come to Columbia, and they make Columbia their second home, as it was for all those years early in the series up until 1959 when every game was played in Columbia. and Clemson uh, won regularly here. Now they are undefeated on their visits to uh, Columbia going back to the last five times now after this win tonight, 16-7 to over the Gamecocks. That's going to do it for this report from williams Bryce Stadium. Thanks for joining us and checking us out. Our report brought to you by the South Carolina Beef Council.